Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming, and welcome back to Prison Architect Women's Edition. We are here on day 17. I did a little bit of planning off screen, adding in, of course, solitary cells, which I've been badly lacking. And so, over here, we'll have solitary cells for, of course, our maximum security. We have a few solitary cells here for our supermax. We could also convert some of these to be solitary, much like we have up in here, I think it is, yep. And there will be some other solitary cells for, of course, shared custody. And down here, we'll just have a couple of solitary cells for the protective custody. And uh, yeah, they're all waiting on solitary, so yeah, about that. Um, these are going to be family cells, which we've already planned ahead. And I put down a bit of lights, especially in here, quite a bit of lights. Let's get things ticking. It is 24 minutes until the next intake. We're supposedly bringing in seven prisoners. And I was taking a look at, uh, where is everyone right now? Are they, got one, two, three, you're starving. Jeez. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Although I think, intelligence, informants, yep, this one's a snitch. Okay, so eight. No, seven. All right, so we're going to have space for 87 for some reason. I was looking through. Actually, do we have any? Yeah, we do have some maximum security over here for some reason. They're waiting for solitary. Oh, that's right. Oh, bother. Yeah, about that. They're kind of stuck until I do something about them. So we are just going to want to, yeah, uh, we're going to bring in a bunch more prisoners. So we have seven minimum security and down here, do we bother? I need you over here. And we have one, two, three, four. Five, six. All right, so we have seven intake. We okay, so we have seven minimum security and six normal security parental. All right, so uh, we can bring in up to eighty seven minimum security and 86 normal security, so that is a total of 12, 12 normal and 8, which is 15. Yep. And we are going to need 8, 8 and 7. That should be good. If we get any mothers, we'll of course convert them over to, yeah. They'll be family cells. They have those available. And yet yeah, one minute remaining. Eighth last minute updates to the intake we want to make. We have two maximum security available to be brought in. We can make another $2,000. Right now we're making $5,900. So that is fine. Is there anything else we are working on? Uh, yeah, build a classroom. I really don't have any. Wow about this one thing I might want to do is <laughs> buy this land if we can ever get eighty thousand dollars we can get another we can get up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars so yeah about that we could buy up to our maximum loan and then buy that and then th throw the uh, I guess protective custody over there for reasons I was thinking of taking all the minimum security and dumping them over there 
and then replacing this with medium security, but uh, no, we're, we're going to leave things as is. Anyway, let's do intake, and we are going to bring in our informants, which we only have three of. All right, with that. And an ex law enforcement. All right, so we are going to protective custody. Now, did we add beds in here? Yes, we did. Okay, so they will have space. It was annoying that the protective custody were sent up there. But I think I know why they were in the holding cell. And for whatever reason, they were allowed in there. Anyway, so we are going to have two buses, and that's uh, three unknown traits. There's another unknown trait. And where are our security? Okay. All right, about that. Uh, yeah, ex law enforcement. There's a skilled fighter. And we have 60% coverage. We don't know anything about them. And now we have. 76% coverage, and we still don't know anything about them, and that's right. Strong. So fire fears. I have a feeling if any of these were snitches, they would have already gotten stitches, so yeah, about that. Uh, extremely quick. Yeah, I might want to add some more toilets but so far that looks to be about it there's only three people who are marked for death yeah about that and so what I'd like to do right now we need to get this set up uh, foundations building concrete objects and we're going to do the same thing here Bed. and then crib rooms family cell objects crib and we are going to need shower head and toilet drains in and like that we're going to fast track that also want to fast track that not that that matters and yeah I'm definitely going to want to get electricity into here Question is how far is that? That's all right. Let's lock that open. Same thing with that. This we're going. Why is this? Anyway, deployment. Let's just make sure everything is reset. Some security holding cell super max yep that's fine one prisoner is unable to be signed to a cell and holding cell and solitary all right yeah we are going to get that speed it up And a toilet. There we go. We are going to need hot water. And that's going to... Here's a question. Running from there. Six. 
9, 15, 15, 25, 33. Oh no. Yeah, that's going to not be long enough. Bother. Which means I'm going to have to run an extra bit of. Small pipe. And we're just going to run it from here. Materials, actually no, rooms, and solitary. We're going to want to concrete that up. And we're going to want to make sure that Okay, that is fine. And I don't think I need this anymore. Or do I? No, we have 81 normal security. These guys need solitary. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get on the solitary which is right here for them. Rooms, solitary. Jail door. Oh, bother. Three hundred and seventy four. What I want to do is also do this. And yeah, let's go up to one hundred ninety thousand dollars. And jail door there. And This is going to be the visitation for the maximum security and parole. Might as well throw the walls in now. That. To do solitary. So do all right. So these solitaries. Oh, bother. All right, that's fine. And now they're working on that. Objects, shield door. And yep. Let's remove these planning marks. All right, so utilities, we are going to run some more electrical cable way to there we are going to have to also run a few lines up to there actually let's run this to there and like that anywhere else that does not have power yeah this entire block 
uh, is going to have to supply the kitchen. This down here, there is enough room for more. Probably put the workshop here, so... Yeah, I wish I had... Hmm. <laughs> more space for power. This is one thing I really hate about Prison Architect. With the separate power grids, you cannot connect them. You cannot have like surge protectors, which would be really nice. You connect, connect. Two blocks, which will allow one block to bleed power in, just so that if you don't have enough power. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyway, we are going to throw a door there. Back to deployment and maximum security. And yeah, that should be shared. And what I like is, yeah, we're gonna have one guard in there, in there. We are going to definitely need more guards. Go up to 45 guards. Deployment. And yeah, we are going to need guard patrols. Yeah, I never put these in. We are going to want to put the dog patrols in. And dog patrols here we're going to want guard patrols here and eventually a dog patrol there uh, arm guard arm guard yeah we're going to want some arm guards in through here two for now should I yeah let's get two more arm guards all right so how are things going on we have this working we're gonna need this. That's gonna be a lot of money to get that set up. <laughs> we took these grants for the extra bit of money and uh, now we're kind of stuck either trying to complete them or yeah, about that. Back to deployment. What I'd like is throw some guards in each of these. Patrols, any other guard patrols that I want to have? Right now, that is fine. Dog patrols, did I get all of them taken care of? Yeah, I'm going to need more. Guard, arm guard there, arm guard there. We are going to eventually put in an arm guard patrol right around. Here, it'd be nice if I could actually see it. Differentiation between the walls, just so we can. All right. It is almost 9 p.m. and everyone is in yard. I'm going to also need to put in jail doors here so that they can get actually get out to the yard.
facilities. Let's run that to there and down to there. Light. And we are going to need electricity. All right, so electricity is going to come in down through here. That is fine. there and we may want to run out a few more just so those get power and like that any other lights that are blinking yeah in here I haven't decided whether I'm going to want to have another power block to supply just the this here I don't know where I'd put it because I pretty well built myself into a corner Thinking possibly out here, then I'd have to reroute electrical cables. Now, with that said, now. Hmm. If I can somehow get power from over here to there, but no, can't cross the wires. There's yard here, there is a kennel here. Could put it here and then run a cable. Something like this. We'll throw it in. I have enough for the power station. Let's throw a power station here. And what I'm going to want to do is probably run this to here, over to there. But I am going to want to have Possibly going to want to have at least eight capacitors, which is eight thousand dollars. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to save up a bit of money. Anyway, it is six thirty a.m. and our prison is currently closed because yeah, closed to in the inmates. As we are at our maximum capacity right now. Wait a minute. 86, 80, really? Total prisoners. All right, uh, we are going to want to bring in how many mothers do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that hasn't changed. So you can bring up to 88, minimum security. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so I can bring on 88 of each. I currently have 86 and 81. So 
So I can bring in another... I can't seem to do math right now. Another nine. And that is going to be two minimum security. Seven normal security. And then... Oh, that is five super max we have. Interesting. Yeah, it would be nice if it told us how many of these are mothers. Just because... I need to know how many family cells I'm going to need. But so far we have 16 mothers out of 191 prisoners. So yeah, about that. Now when it comes to feed all prisoners, food distribution, 30 cook, 30 meals are being cooked. We have a demand of six, supply of four, three being cooked. So they are getting fed. Demand of one, supply of one. Why do we only have a supply of one? Actually, why do we have only a demand of one when we have five supermax prisoners? Oh, unless some are waiting for solitary still. <laughs> and here we have, yep. Yeah, Demand of 11, supply of 0, plus 11. So they are going to get their meals. Demand of 78, supply of 119. Oh, really? It'd be nice if those meals could get shipped over there. Demand of 8, supply of 7. Down here, demand of 8, supply of 0, plus 9. And 73, supply of 65, plus 9. So it looks like everyone is going to eventually get fed. They are just going to have to wait a little bit for the meals to get supplied. So, yeah. Anyway, intake, we are going to be bringing in nine prisoners, $4,100. And it is time to set up. Yeah, we are just going to remove this here. Uh, objects, demolish. We are going to convert this into rooms uh was it parole where's parole parole's right there we need five by fives and we are going to need i think we have a few extra oh no no i yeah that's right I put them down here because we needed them for a visitation. Anyway, uh, visitors tables, we don't even have the money for those. So yeah, I bet that. And there we go, $4,100. I'll just put two pearl tables in right now. And in here we can do the same thing. Rooms and parole. Like that. And then in here they get parole. And the parole was going to be here. All right, so we are going to put down a visitor table. We'll just put in one for now. And in here, just the one. They have it, they have it. All right, that's fine. This was going to be chapel. Here's questions. The spirituality need. Do we have, yes we do. 73 prisoners desperately want this need fulfilled. 78 prisoners have the need. All right, rooms and 
chapel. Objects we are going to put in an altar. And we are going to put in pews. that same thing over here and then pews uh, we need where is it chapel we're going to dismantle those and now we are going to put in the altar we don't have the money and we're just going to wait until time ticks and apparently one prisoner is unable to be assigned to a cell you to do search prisoner who is unable to be assigned to a cell? Oh. You. They apparently need warmth. Oh, that's right. We did put in... Okay, those apparently are now up against walls. Interesting. So, they, yeah, when you put them down... They show up like right in the middle of the hallway, but then they actually get put against the walls. That's nice. If we go to logistics and temperature. These are a nice 20 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius. Um, these are not too too bad. That's fine. <laughs> uh, 22 degrees Celsius. All right. Yeah, they're going to be freezing. <laughs> uh, 10 degrees, no problem. And it also needs pews. Really? So you can't get away with just prayer mats. You have to actually put in pews. All right. Put in two pews. Put in the next one just to make sure we don't actually forget it. I am going to start wanting to think about beautifying the prison. Just let one more tick. There we go. And at this point, what I'm probably going to do is take a break here. We have all the prisoners in the different areas of the prison minimum security is all up here maximum security is all here super max is down here medium security is here and we actually have finally have the prisoners required uh, she's here in the family cell and these ones extremely tough Intelligence, informants. Question is Who is unable to be assigned to a cell? Two of them. Hmm. I have no idea. Anyway, at this point, I'm going to take a break here. I'll have to figure that out off screen. But if you know where those two prisoners that need to be or unable to be assigned to a cell, let me know down in the comments. Although by the time you probably watch this, I will probably have already figured it out. So it probably doesn't really matter. Anyway, other than that, thank you for joining me for this episode of Prison Architect Women's Edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SP Gaming. And as always, have a good day.